and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Jay Chanel. I'm Janae and today I'm going to be doing the very popular passion twist. So as you can see, I've already separated and rubber banded my hair. I'm going to be using the rubber band method to kind of help me out a little bit. And I'm going to be using two different types of hair. I'm going to use the free tress water wave in 22 inches. And I'm also going to be using the Bobby Boss Afro Twist in F1B. B U G. Um, I would have stuck all with the free trust because this is pretty much what I've been seeing everywhere, but I decided to add a little bit of color, and this was the only package that had color in it at my beauty supply store. So we'll see how it turns out. I think that everything will go pretty well. From what I've seen, the tutorials look pretty easy to do. So I'm gonna kind of take that and then take a little bit of knowledge that I have already as far as crochets go, mix that together, and hopefully I'll have a cute look. So if you wanna see how I went from this to this, stay tuned. First, you wanna start by pulling apart the hair. This is gonna make the twist a little bit plumper. Then you're going to insert your crochet hook. I inserted mine going down. After that, you want to twist the middle section of the hair to make it a little bit easier to get on the crochet hook. You put the hair on the hook, close the latch, and pull it through. After you remove the crochet hook, there will be a loop. You want to take half of the strands, put them through the loop, and then pull either end tight so that the loop gets smaller. Next, you're going to put a generous amount of edge control on your hair, split your hair in half, and add each side to each side of the crochet hair. Then you're just gonna do a regular two strand twist down to the end of the hair. I'm going to do a few more examples once I get to the front, just in case you need to see it again. So now I'm just replacing the rubber band as I said before I noticed that the clear kept breaking so I decided to go with the black traditional rubber bands. They did not break out my hair at all. I kept very close attention while I was taking these out and I didn't get any shedding at all. So I just used regular rubber band and reapplied it and now you can see I'm separating the hair again making it fluffy. I'm going in with my crochet hook twisting that hair and then I'm going to put it on the hook. So you, it's on the hook, you close the latch and pull it through. And then now I have that loop that's in my fingers and I'm taking half of the strands and pulling it through and then pulling the two ends tight so that the loop gets smaller. Now I'm adding some edge control to my hair to get that slick so that it blends in with the crochet hair, splitting it in half. And then I'm just gonna two strand twist down the hair. Your brethren, a man called Saul of Tarsus. What of him? He's made some enemies. It's a special skill of his. And you guys know that joy that hits when you are on the last section. We're working on this last twist right now. So just do the same steps as before. Comb through the hair to fluff it out. Then you're gonna put your crochet hook in. Put the hair on the hook. Then you're gonna pull it through. Pull one side through the loop that was created. Put some edge control on your hair. Separate it into two sections. 
and two strand twist it to the end. So as you can see, installing these is pretty easy. So far, maintenance has been really easy too. I've only had them in for a couple of days, but all I've been doing is just tying a scarf around the top of my head. I don't have one of the bonnets like that people use for braids. So that would be best, but I'm not gonna keep these in for a really long time because my hair appointment is coming up. So I won't I won't worry about purchasing that. But if you're gonna have these for a long time, I would go ahead and get the bonnet that's like really long with and it's got a hole at the bottom. So that way you can put all of these in so they stay protected. What I have noticed is that some of them kind of get like a little bit matted and stuck together. And so um, when Wearing your bonnet will help to prevent that because your the pillow is not going to be drying it out. But also something you could do is take just a, like a dot of oil in your hand, rub it in your hands first, and then just kind of run down the twist like that. And that little bit of moisture will help it to not stick together so hard. But you know you kind of want you don't want to be flinging these all around either because that will kind of cause friction and make them stick together as well but other than that they're pretty low maintenance they are um they're not heavy but i don't usually get braids or twists or anything like this so if you don't do styles like that it will feel heavier than just your normal hair because of course it's more hair added in so um if you can't stand that type of weight i would either do thinner twists or I wouldn't do them at all. Like I wouldn't, if you feel like your head's gonna hurt and stuff, then I wouldn't do them. Also, if you decide that you're gonna try to do these yourself, um, this is not for the faint of heart. Like it take, it does take some time. It's not a heart concept, but if you get long hair, obviously it's gonna take you a long time to twist it. Um, it's gonna take a decent amount of time to make your sections because you want to make sure that your sections are very neat and part it correctly or so that you don't pull hair out pulling stray hairs from one sec one side to the other like if your parts aren't straight so you're gonna spend a lot of time parting it and twisting it but the installation is easy so if you feel like you have some hours of time on your hands I would go for it but if you don't feel like like if you're not a patient person I would go to a licensed cosmetologist to get this done if you're in the Louisville or the southern Indiana area I'm a licensed cosmetologist so I would maybe be willing to do this these for the right price because they're not hard but they are time consuming so um, after I get off of here I post some pictures of different ways that I've styled it more you can see right now I have it half up half down with the little gold pieces The other day I wore it half up, half down with like one piece hanging out. I've worn them just down. I'll probably try to do a bun or something, but they're cute. I like them. These turned out really cute and I like them. So that concludes this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment also comment what other videos you would like to see make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you're notified every time i post a video come back again and thanks for watching bye